certain person who made an application to come and visit you. Now, whilst you've been on remand, Mr. Brooke Bartlett. Do you know Mr. Brooke Bartlett? No. Did you ever invite Mr. Bartlett to come and visit you? No. I've got a lot of uh, funny visits, by the way. Just tell us. Letters, phone calls from people I've never seen, never heard of lawyers. Uh, coming to see me that said uh, they want to represent me and I haven't asked them to come. Uh, the other day I got a call uh, that was put through by a prosecutor. He, he said he is a prosecutor in my case and if I would be willing to pay something to get a positive decision uh, regarding my bail hearing on uh, Friday. So I immediately said absolutely not. I gave the number to the officer and I said, uh, you know, I want to press charges because this is ridiculous. And, and uh, have you also had some someone file a habeas corpus application on your behalf? And yes, I was surprised when I heard about that because I never asked anybody to do that. And you've had visits from lawyers saying that they've been asked to go and see you? Yes. And have you asked any other lawyers other than Simpson Grierson and my chambers to Absolutely visit you? not. Do you have access to other funds then outside of those which have been seized that uh, would enable you to uh, employ those funds to get some false passports made and get some travel arrangements undertaken to take you overseas? I want to be absolutely clear about this. There are no funds left anywhere. Everything has been seized. Do you have any criminal connections, people? It's been suggested in some of the reasoning of the decision to decline bail, that you... Well, in the last two weeks, I've made a lot of criminal connections, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but beyond that, I have no criminal connections now. I have absolutely no desire to breach any condition that is given to me, and I will not run away. I want to fight these uh, allegations on a level playing field and have a fair chance to defend myself. Also, I have three little children my wife is pregnant with twins and she's due in the next two months. Uh, I just want to be with them. May I just say one thing about the legitimacy and the legitimate use of Megapros? One sentence, I already mentioned that in my affidavit. We are hosting 12 billion unique files of over 100 million users. If you take all movies, music files, together that have ever been made, and even you have 10 instances per movie, per music file, you will never have more than 100 million files. So if we have 12 billion unique files on our service, it clearly shows that the legitimate uh, number of files outweighs any infringement by a vast majority. Thank you. Have a look at that document. That's an affidavit of a police officer, Detective Grimes, searched the bedroom and found that passport in a black bag beside the bed. Showing you this visa. I mean, the only thing that I can think, I have, it's pretty clear that uh, you didn't read this correctly, you know, because if you would look at the birth date, you will say that the year, you will see that the year comes first, 74, then the month, and then the day. So this is clearly a visa for 2003 and not 2011. The date is 11.5.03 until 11.2.03. My birth date underneath is in the same format, 21.01.74. Uh, Can you see that? So you're saying that this is a visa from 2003? Correct. And that you don't need this passport anymore? Exactly.